welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you a quick demo of college management system so this is the login page okay so when you uh, enter some wrong user id or password it will definitely say wrong user id or password and you need to enter the valid user id and password okay so for that my username is a student and my password is also a student okay so just type student student and click on login and here we move to the dashboard here you can see this this is dashboard and these are the uh, facilities that i'm providing with this college management system or features that i'm providing admission in this admission we have new admission and upgrade semester i will show you what is this upgrade semester and we have fees uh, facilities student details with the student details uh, we can see all the details or one by one individual details in teacher we have add teacher information, search teachers and remove students so that you can delete the data of a particular student if needed and about us to know about us and this is access that will definitely access the application so starting from this first one now I'm going to click on this new admission okay so this form will be open and here you can see this register num registration number is 8 so this is the registration number which is going to save into the database when you enter something when you submit the form okay so make sure you remember this or you just need to tell to the student okay so this is actually connected with the database so it's showing that uh, now you are going to enter will be the student number will be okay. so now i'm going to um, enter a name is hello and mother name something okay and just let me set gender male and the birth be something of 1997 june 11 okay so that's not an issue and number will be okay and email id hello okay we need to select semester in which semester it's being uh, taking admission into our college so I'm just selecting this uh, third one, third semester, and which programming language you would uh, prefer to learn? So select Java or select C Sharp. Okay. So school name in which school he or she has pre previously studied? So X Y Z X Y Z public school. Let me just name. And after that, for which duration? For which batch he is going to study? So 2020 to 2024 okay and uh, the address will be india and when i submit click on submit here you can see this this is eight okay so now when i'm going to submit data saved remember the registration id here you can see this showing and when i click on this okay nothing has happened because we have this reset button when i click on this the data will be clean and if you are worried about that registration number isn't changed so for that just close this and click on admission and new admission here you can see this now it's nine okay so uh, I'm not showing you this I'm just moving to uh, details okay no let me just show you when I click on this update semester it's actually showing uh, like uh, you have seen this alloc okay so alloc is in third semester now it's one semester is completed so we have to update the data that that student is in the fourth semester now so for that you just need to do like this third semester to fourth semester when i click on this it asks that the semester will be updated click ok to continue okay if i click on ok then the third semester student will be promoted to fourth and if i click on cancel nothing data will be changed okay so i will show you later how this is working and when i click on this fees though the registration id for the alloc is eight when i click on eight here you can see this alloc puja and duration is this is this and you need to enter the fees okay so i am going to show you one more thing when i go to student details and search student here you can see this there are two data which i have previously inserted but alloc is not showing here why why this is because the fees of that alloc is not submitted yet okay so here you can see this the fees of these two student, students are submitted so let me just show you now i'm going to submit the fees of alloc so alloc let me just it his fees is thirty thousand or no, fifty thousand right fifty thousand okay 
and when I click on the submit, free submission successful. Okay. Now let me just close this and let me just show you. So it is here. You can see this now allocated. Here. So in this way it's working. Here you can see this now fifty thousand. If the fees is not submit, student will be not visible. So if you want to see the one by one detail, just click on eight registration ID and search. Here you can see this now only one detail is here. So if you try to resubmit the fees like our look, the fees is already submit, but still we want to submit again, then it will show fees already submitted. And when I click on this OK, it will reset. Okay. So I will show you each step. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then just subscribe and for the comment. Uh, for your source code, just comment in the comment section. Okay, so individual detail. I have shown you what what is the search student, and if you want to see individual detail, I'm going to show you this individual detail. Here you can see this. These are the details. If you want to see each detail for the individual one, then just click on eight, and so here you can see this all the details individually. And let me just show you for seven also. Just click. It's changing. Okay. And when I click on this reset, all become empty. Okay. So in the same way for teacher, add teacher information. These details needs to be added. Now teacher, let me just add uh, Rakesh and his mail date of birth. Let me just change to uh, 1990, whatever it is. Okay. And email ID is Rakesh at gmail.com semester need to be selected for which semester he is joining and which semester he is going to teach so he is going to teach for third semester which programming language he can teach uh, he is joining for like C -Sharp, for JSP let me just add for Java and duration is 2024 and address is India and just submit data saved okay so uh, actually we can clear this on ok click button that's not an issue i will resolve that now i'm going to search here you can see this now it's previously added data and here rakesh i have added right now and you can also search it with the id one record is here and when you click on this remove print here you can see this these are the data which is previously inserted and this is the data which is which i have inserted now. okay so I want to delete this seven or like uh, I want to delete this six. Okay, so just enter six and delete. And here you can see this now it's not updated. Just close this and click once again. Here you can see this now six is not here. When you click on this about us, this type of pop up will uh, come in front of you and you can change the details here, which is provided. And when you click on this, this will close the application. So that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and if you need the code then just comment your email id in the comment section thanks for watching